Hi, I'm Stuart. Welcome to Sinet Television. Out here on the West Coast, we sometimes regard ourselves as the last great frontier. Maybe Alaska, actually, is probably the last great frontier, so hi to everybody up in Alaska. But Co3 makes a great product in the mini light bar section. It is called the Co3 Frontier Light Bar, and our intrepid explorer, Chris, is going to take it apart. Over to Chris. Thank you, Stuart. The Co3 Frontier LED mini bar utilizes Code3's Taurus technology for the light heads inside the unit. As you can see, nice rounded profile, so with that, great 360 coverage on your application. Also, class one approved for its amber output, so if you're setting up DOT trucks and you need to meet that classification, the Frontier is great, SAE certified for class one output. For the insides, Going to go ahead, give you a view, so you'll see the light heads themselves, and also what's going on in here as far as the central flasher and the wiring connections to make the mini bar what it is for lighting up all the Taurus heads. And with that, in the front here, you have six diodes per Taurus module. In the corners, nine diodes. So with that, great intensity on the sides as well as the front and back of the bar. To get started, going to go ahead, flip it over, and remove the series of screws that hold the base and the UV resistant polycarbonate top together. Now, it does have a seal inside, so I'm going to grab a small screwdriver, just run along the edge in a few places to help break the seal so I can separate the components. And there we go. So you can see, with a little bit of a wiggle, the unit will separate. So I'm going to go ahead, flip this over, watch the screws come tumbling out, or not come tumbling out. So nice there. Dome comes off. You can see it's a one-piece polycarbonate, high impact resistant. So again, for DOT applications, it's rough and tumble, and it'll last for many, many years. Inside the unit, and the top as well, you can see it's a polycarbonate black compound. With that, the black helps to keep the insides from getting faded from the sunlight. So with that, the componentry inside here, the lensing, the optics, the reflectors will stay nice and proper, so polished, clean, and no fading. So with that, for years and years to come, your output will always stay tried and true. And also with the dome, you can get a better view of the Taurus LED heads inside the bar. So you can see two units here, six diodes each. Corner module, nine diodes. Next step, I'm going to go ahead, remove the top portion here. Two screws, hold it in place. Lifts free. So inside here, you can see the aluminum extrusion. So this is what all the light head bracketry is mounted to, as you can see. Quick connects for the wiring harness that goes through the bottom of the unit. And also, neat function with the Frontier is it has the integrated touch sensor for flash pattern change. So with that, if you've been curious exactly what the sensor is, this is the sensor module right here. So with that, when the unit's put together, touch the top, which I'll show you here in a few moments, and that'll adjust the flash pattern. So with that, you don't have to have a separate button on the plug or another trigger wire. 
it's all done with the top of the bar. And if you are curious, it won't change from a branch swooping against it, water dropping, snow, what have you. You actually have to press it a bit firmly with your finger. And also, a neat function with that is it's only touch sensitive for a few seconds after you first activate it. So you can change it when you first turn it on, and then through the rest of the time, when it's out in service, you won't have to worry about anything. So vibration, if it's on the DOT truck and there's brush, rocks, debris, whatever bouncing around, something happens to bounce off the top, you're not gonna have a bar that changes patterns. So very well thought out by Code 3 in regards to the touchpad. To give you a bit of a better view, I'm gonna go ahead, remove a few more screws here to free up the aluminum assembly here. those removed and go ahead and remove this portion of the mini bar. So as you can see on the bottom here is where all the circuitry and the wiring is connected in. So very well laid out by code three you can see quick disconnects for all the modules eight total so with that each module has its own plug-in so if for some odd reason you ever need to service one you have a bar that you're going to rearrange colors upgrade, what have you in the future, open it up, unplug it, remove the Phillips mounting screws from the top extrusion, and the module, whichever one it may be, will come free. So you can see on the electronic board here, everything is soldered into place. So again, very well constructed, very, very durable. So vibration, all that jazz when it's on your application, it'll last for many, many years. And that's because of Code 3's engineering for all the circuitry, making everything nice and rough and tumble. So with that, now that you've seen a bit of the insides, I'll go ahead, put it back together to show you how the touchpad works and how potent the Frontier mini bar is. So with this, I'm gonna go ahead, realign on the posts here. And I'm just quickly double checking my gasket to make sure it's still all tucked in to the edge here. There we go. The gasket itself is just pressed into the lip. So with that, with flipping it over and back around a few times, it's just wiggled itself free. But no big deal, tucks right back into place. And also you can see with that gasket incorporated between the polycarbonate base, polycarbonate top for the exterior, it's gonna be nice and water resistant. So it'll keep the grit and grime, all the funky outside stuff from getting in the nice, fresh and clean mini bar. And as you can see, the insides very, very well dressed with the aluminum, with the black and the optics here. So with that, need to keep it sealed so it performs very well and looks great again for many, many years to come. With this in place and go ahead, Mounting screws will go right back in. So now with the light head extrusion, back into place on the polycarbonate base. We'll go ahead, take the black fade resistant top, realign it on the mini bar here. And holes realigned can only go into place one way. So with that, when you seal it back down, nothing will be off as far as the side on the left or on the right. There we go, black UV top back in place. And with that, I can now go ahead, take the amber dome, put that back on as well. And in this case here, 
The diodes inside are color matched, so they're amber as well, matched to the amber dome. But if you'd like it where the dome is clear for your application, it can be ordered that way as well. Again, great thing with LEDs, the diode emits the light. So there you have it. That's where clear domes and color comes into place. Electronic color, cosmetic for the dome. Go ahead, flip it back over here. Just give it a little bit of a push, help seal the gasket inside here between the bottom and the top. And with that, back in place it'll go. Screws back in place, re-secured. So with that, you can go ahead and put the tools away. As you can see, reassembled. Nice and water resistant as far as the tightness goes between the base and the top. Gonna go ahead, take it, plug it in to 12 volts. That way you can see the output and how the touch sensor will work on the top of the unit here as well. So as you can see, nice and bright output. Again, 360 degree coverage, and that's where you get your class one output with the amber. So with this touch pad, give it a push, pattern adjusts. So it's in the top portion here, dead center. Just go ahead, give it a tap. So as you can see, each tap will go ahead and change the pattern. So a really neat and really unique feature that Code 3 has integrated into the Frontier mini bar. So again, for setting the bar, go ahead, turn it on. Go ahead, press away until you find a desired pattern that'll work for your application. And as you can see, there's many patterns programmed into it. So if you want something where the whole bar is going at the same time, if you want something where it's going back and forth, as you can see here, go ahead, touch away, get it to the pattern, and then it'll be set for you for the rest of the time until you go back and change it if you want to. Turn it off. And with that, on the 12 volt plug here, there's an integrated switch, so it controls the on and off. So very nice function there. And also with the unit incorporated into the 12 volt cigarette plug is an integrated fuse. So if you ever have a day, you fire up the mini bar, it's not working, everything seems to be in order, go ahead, unscrew the cap here, double check the fuse inside to make sure that the filament is still intact. As you can see, the cap will screw right back into place. So again, with the fuse, easy to service at any time. So there you have it, an inside look at Code 3's Frontier Mini Light Bar. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the journey across the Frontier. Thanks for watching here, Sirenet Television. Back to you, Stuart. Well, there you have it. The intrepid explorer, Chris, telling us all about the great product from Co3, the Frontier Mini Light Bar. It's available here on Sirenet. Don't forget to go ahead and check it out, the tech specs. Thanks for watching.